Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw fish sticks from Fortnite. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So we move to the outside and draw in two large circles. So let's start on the left. Starting from the very top, and work our way around to the bottom of the eye, and then back up towards the top. Now we leave a very large gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So let's line up the top of the circle, work our way around to the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now in the center of each eye, I'm gonna draw a small circle and fill that in black for the pupil. Now we're gonna draw the wrinkle of the skin along the top and bottom. So let's start on the left side of the eye. I'm gonna curve down. Now we're just gonna pull that up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting on the outside, curve down, and then up. Now let's go to the top and do the same thing. So on the outside of the eye, I'm gonna curve up, and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Now let's move to the inside and draw on the mouth. We're gonna start on the left side, we're gonna draw a curve going up, and then back down on the right. We're gonna round this out a little and then come down towards the bottom. So let's start on the left side, we're gonna round out the corner of the mouth, come down in the middle, and then back up on the right side. Now let's add that seam for the lip. On the left side, we're gonna leave a little gap, and draw a straight line going across towards the right. Now we're gonna draw in the lower part of the head, just underneath the wrinkle on the left, Curve down underneath the mouth. Now we're going to pull that back up on the right side. Now let's move to the top and draw on the edge of the hat. From this point, we're going to step out, curve up in the middle, and then back down on the right. Now let's draw on the outside of the hat. We're going to start on top of the wrinkle, right up here. Curve up to the top in the middle. Now I'm going to bring this back down on the right side. Let's add a trim along the top of the hat. From the wrinkle of the eye, we're going to step up, draw on that same curve of the hat brim going across. Now I'm going to add a stitch line in the center. Starting from the very top, right in the middle, we'll come straight down towards the brim. Now I'm going to add some stitch lines along the side. Starting at the top, we're going to draw an angle line going up. Step down, we're going to angle down in the opposite direction. Step down again, we're going to go straight across. Now let's add that detail to the top of the hat. On either side of the seam, we're going to step over to the left, draw a straight line going up on the left and right. Close it off with a straight line. Now on the corners, on the left side, we're going to curve out and then up. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to pull a short line coming in, leaving a gap right in the middle. Now from here, we want to curve up and then in towards the center point. So we'll start on the left, go up, and then curve that in. Now we're going to move just underneath the eye on either side and draw on the flap. From the corner of the eye right out here, we're going to curve out, then down. Now it's going to round this out and pull that back up underneath the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting up here, curve out, and then down. We'll round out the bottom of the flap and pull that straight up underneath the head. Now directly below the chin, right in the middle here, we're going to add two bows coming out. Starting in the center, we're going to angle down and out towards the left, and then the right. Now we're just going to square off the end with a short angle line going out. Now let's just pull this up underneath the chin. Now we're going to move to the side and draw the wrinkle of the collar. Starting on the left, curve down and then in. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's layer the side of the body in behind the collar. From this point, we're going to step out, curve out, and then down. Now we're going to close off the bottom with a curve. Starting from the left side, we'll curve down and then back up. Let's add that trim in the inside of the body. Starting off here, we're going to draw a straight line going across. Now on the left side, I'm going to curve out and down towards the hip. Now we're going to add some stitch lines across the seam. Starting on the left, we're going to draw two short lines going across top and bottom. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to add two along the top. On the left side, we're going to angle down and in. And on the right, we'll angle down and in. 
Let's add two pouches overall on the right side. So starting out here, start with two straight lines coming down side by side. Close off the bottom with a straight line. Now we're gonna go out towards the hip. We're gonna step in, draw another straight line coming down. We wanna leave a gap on this side. So we're gonna step in, draw another line, and then we'll close off the bottom. Let's add the flap of the pouch. These two corners are gonna connect with the curve, coming down and then back up. And we'll do the same thing with the right pouch. Let's tuck the belt in underneath. From this corner, we're gonna step in, draw a short line coming down. Now I'm gonna curve down and in behind the pouches. Curve down and in, and you'll see a little bit of it in between. Now let's step down in the middle and draw a curve for the bottom of the pant. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve up and then back down. Leaving a gap in the center, we'll go to the left side, draw an angled line coming down and out towards the left and right side. Now let's flatten off the bottom with a straight line going out. Now let's draw on the outside of the pant. Starting from the bottom corner of the belt, we're going to curve out and then down. Now over here we're going to start on the side of the pouch and draw that same curve. Now we're going to curve down and in towards the bottom line. Now let's add that stitch line along the leg. Just underneath the belt on the left side, we're going to curve out down. Now we're going to pull that in towards the inside of the leg on the left. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're going to line this up, curve out, and then pull that up underneath the pouch. We're going to add a couple stitch lines. On the left we're going to draw two short lines. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to draw on the legs and the feet. Starting from the inside of the leg, we're going to start with a straight line coming down towards the heel on both sides. Now back on the left side, let's round out the heel. Curve around and up. Now we're going to curve this back down, just blend into a curve, coming back down, and then we'll curve that back up, going up towards the toe. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with the heel, curving down and up, curve back and down, now we'll curve back up towards the toe. Now back on the left side, we just want to follow this curve coming back up towards the top of the foot. So we'll start right here, we'll taper it up, and then across. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving down, up, and then across. I'm going to go back up to the top of the pant. We're going to curve this down and out on top of the foot. Now let's move back up and draw on the arms. We start about halfway down the side of the body. So right here, we're going to curve out and down towards the wrist on the left and right side. Now back on the left, we draw the thumb, starting with a small half circle. At the end of the half circle, we'll draw a bracket. Now we're gonna draw three fingers. At the bottom of the thumb, curve down and up around that bracket. Step down, curve down and up the second finger. Now on the side of this finger, we're gonna curve around and then just pull that in towards the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting with a thumb and then a bracket. Draw on that first finger, going around the bracket. Step down, curve the second finger. Now the third finger we're going to pull up in towards the wrist. Now from here we're just going to pull this up in behind the collar. So we're going to follow that same curve from the wrist, curve up, and then pull that in. Do the same thing on the right side. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Fish Sticks from Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.